So, this last weekend's been kind of fun. Oh, uh, all last week I haven't been able to stream because cool new job stuff. But it, it all started with a stream and uh, somebody coming in and bringing up some other posts I'd made on Discord. Um, I don't want to address that stuff directly. I kind of talked directly with a couple of the people that have brought it up directly. But it's more of the way the conversation went that I kind of want to address. Because there were parts that seemed very disingenuous. And I think it's a valuable learning experience to learn from. And plus, in a way, it allows me to also clear up some things about like the way my mentality is. Especially when, for one, I can't be there the whole time. And two... I start to feel that the other person is being disingenuous. So, first of all, when I get the sense that someone's being disingenuous or they've got a preconceived notion that they're trying to, like, fish out of me or try to get me to say, I, I kind of go to troll mode. And it sounds bad, but at the same time, when anything that you do won't convince the other party that you are not the thing that they're trying to accuse you of, then there's no sense in, like, trying to... Uh, how do I put it? If there's no way to explain it, that they will be like, okay, maybe you're not as bad as I thought, or that they still are holding to what they perceive then you're basically on two different sides of the park. And at that point, you really won't come to a consensus. Especially when, at the end of the conversation, the person says, next time, have the balls to admit you're a Nazi. That's the kind of thing where, if I sense that that's going on, then, yeah, I'll kind of go like, Mimi troll at that point because there's just no point in trying to honestly in good faith have that conversation and there are times when I'll try and push for good faith as long as possible but it just becomes useless sometimes and there's I've had a couple of people that came to me in that good faith never ever back down when you're accused of being a racist. As a rule, you should always double down on it. Always double down. Always. And if you see someone else being accused of being a racist, you should ask yourself, what can I do to be more racist than that guy? times and I'll try and push for good faith as long as possible but it just becomes useless sometimes and there's I've had a couple people that came to me in that good faith and yeah they still kind of hold their thing where it's like well the image really bothers me but you don't seem like that kind of a person and that also comes down to like Hopefully you've built up the goodwill with others and there are others that know you a bit better that it's like Well, it's not true, but yeah, some of it I don't quite quite agree with that he posts even though he's not doing it in a serious tone I've kind of touched on it a little too much more than I wanted to but the point is when that is happening or Sometimes it's just been a long day, and then I come back home, and it's like, I'm just, like, inundated with, like, stupid crap from people 
that I just don't want to deal with it. And yeah, I'll kind of go troll then until I can deal with it later. And some of those people have stuck around to actually talk about it later on. So like Saturday, Sunday, I was actually able to sit down and like go more in depth with it because I had a little bit more time to do that. And those people that were willing to listen kind of like... At, at least the one in voice chat kind of walked away like, huh. Because there, there's a lot you can hear when you hear that pause, like, and the tone of voice. There's a lot you can hear in that, that it's like, wow. And then even in the voice chat, there were some things that we agreed upon as the conversation went on. And I don't really know the results of what happened. But some of the posts that they that had been made before those conversations happened, there was a difference in attitude from like when they made their posts on other social media versus like when we talked. Because when I compare to timestamps, it's like, okay, this part happened before. And then they came in, and this part happened after. And their conclusion somewhat shifted because we were actually able to sit down and talk. And I think that's where 90% of problems come into. Is people are so used to being able to vent everything on social media. That that's kind of the first thing that they do. And then they go in and discuss the issues with the person with with a person that's willing to have that conversation cuz what if we talk go with like the news for example the news media what they'll often do like if they write an article online is they will offer like some small quip and correction on that same article but the initial article has been spread around and no one's coming back to read the updated article later on down the road. So there are a lot of people that have this conception of what's going on. And then they, the correction happens and those people are still stuck with the old article. Whereas if everything could have been gathered at first then maybe the stuff that was done wouldn't happen. I don't recall any moments, but I may have been guilty of the same thing to where I posted something about someone or something that wasn't true. And then I was corrected on it later and never corrected that thing later on. I, I know I've done it in private conversations where I've done that, but I don't think I've quite done it in public so much, but I may have. I don't exactly recall, but that public damage or that public perception never gets changed. Whereas if we would actually come and sit down, maybe we can talk out our differences. And I, I've seen this where there's so many differences, even within, so some Based on some of the more recent videos, you might argue, well, Linux YouTuber, right? It's like, well, if by Linux YouTuber mean you mean, like, my production rig, I'll like air quotes, is running Linux, then yes. If by Linux YouTuber me you mean I focus only on Linux stuff, then no. I've seen in a couple other Linux circles, so the Linux communi community, again, air quotes, is very like diverse in opinion so you've got people on the right left and everywhere in between per se and there are a couple of those communities where i can see like these people that have differing opinions they can nitpick at each other but then at the end of the day they come together this isn't everyone but they are able to sit down and still have a drink together metaphorically speaking at the end of the day even though they had like a heated conversation about something they politically dis disagree on 
And there are a lot of other circles where that lack of conversation and ability to sit down and have a drink together, enjoy a game of Hearts of Iron 4 together, is just missing because of all the tribal tribalism that's going on. Yeah, genuine conversations. I'd rather have the stuff sorted out before someone went and did stuff like the news media does nowadays than to have them, that damage happen, and that's what I try and do, honestly. I mean, th there's a point where it's like, well, and there comes a point where I could care less because sometimes you just try and try and then it just, there's nothing the other person will do. So it's like, okay, fine. And sometimes you're going to have those moments. That's whatever. But at the end of the day, I got screamed at on Discord. Um... Some people may hate me a bit more, but that's okay. Not my problem. It's a not my problem situation. That's on them. But don't go and bother the other people that... In, the, in my circles, please. That's... No. Please no. You can scream at me on Discord and we can sit down and have a good faith chat. But our opinions are still going to differ, I'm pretty sure. Even at the end of the day in that voice chat convo, our opinions still differed. But there was a lot that I think we learned from each other in the process. So if you feel like screaming at me, if you enjoy some of the stuff that I do, and... You want to support what I do? Those links and everything are there. Um, there's even a whole channel with all those links on disc my Discord and stuff. So yeah, At the end of the day, I hope you all have a good one.